The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Cap Steve for Botest.com, and today we're going to test the all new Evinrude iDoc joystick piloting system. This is the most recent addition to the Evinrude Intelligent Piloting System, and it's designed specifically for the ETEC G2 150 to 300 horsepower engines. We're going to put this new system to the test on two entirely different types of boats. First, we'll be a pontoon boat, and then we'll test it on a center console. But first, let's start by taking a look at the iDox joystick components. The joystick is the hub of the system, and it can be mounted anywhere. It has a contoured handle that's spring-loaded and returns back to neutral when released. The design is simple, with a power button front and center, and the joystick itself is the only thing that needs to be touched to maneuver the boat. The system also has an advanced aircraft gyroscope that compensates for wind and current, and two separate steering pumps that control each engine individually. Unlike other systems, the steering pumps are actually part of the internal hydraulic steering of the Evinrude E-Tech G2 engines, so no additional steering pumps are required. This reduces clutter around the transom and allows the system to be offered for an MSRP of $5,999. To activate the joystick, simply put the controls in neutral and push the on-off button. A light verifies that it's turned on. Once activated, there are no other buttons to push or lights to look for, so the operator's eyes are not distracted from the approaching dock. And by tilting the joystick in any desired direction, the bolt will go that way. By twisting it, the bolt will spin in place. The Evernew joystick is progressive, which means that the farther you push it, the more power is applied and the boat responds more. To increase the thrust boost to the second, higher power stage, simply push the joystick farther into the boost position. When doing this, you'll feel the resistance and that signals that you're entering the higher power range. Now, let's put it to test on a large pontoon boat. Well, the first thing we noticed was no lag whatsoever between joystick movement and the boat's response. We move the joystick gently and the boat follows the command. The key to docking safely is always to move the boat slowly. When we want to straighten the boat out, we rotate the joystick and the boat responds. When we want to return to the dock, we simply point the stick in that direction and the boat moves in that direction. To move the bow of the boat to the left in our test, we simply twisted the joystick to the left to straighten the boat out and it moved it parallel to the dock. When you want to spin the boat in its own length, just rotate the joystick and she spins in the desired direction. An increase in the twisting moment results in an increase in RPMs and a quicker spin. Pontoon boats are particularly lightweight and have no keel, so when the wind is blowing, the fencing acts like a sail to push the boat off course. With the iDock system, the gyroscope counteracts this, so the ability to sidestep the boat with ease is a major advantage. We finished the test by putting the boat back in its slip, and it's impressive how accurate the system is with this large and ungainly boat. Now let's see how the iDock performs with the center console. Operating the center console is very much like the pontoon boat, but the boat behaves far differently. Every boat is different, and the iDock is individually calibrated to fit the parameters of each model. We found that by moving the joystick a little, getting a response, and then moving the stick again was a good way to operate it. A light touch on the pontoon boat worked well, and on the center console we needed a stronger boost because the boat's a deep V and the engines are close together. That means the engines must work a bit harder and sometimes the maneuvers were a bit slower than on the pontoon boat. Nevertheless, the center console executed all of our maneuvers with the same precision as the pontoon boat. Likewise, sidestepping in the center console needs a bit heavier hand on the joystick, but as can be seen in the video, the boat easily sideslips into the dock. When powering around the marina and out of the channel, it felt more comfortable using the joystick than the normal controls. That's something we were not expecting. In our opinion, the new Evinrude iDock system was easy to use and effective in maneuvering both boats in tight spots. Every boat will handle a little differently, but in each of our tests, the joystick allowed us to maneuver the boat much easier than with conventional means. This also makes line handling easier for the crew, and with a line or two prepared, single-handed docking and tying up can be done by anyone like a pro. The iDock's use of existing engineering and components on compatible new Evernude E-Tech G2 150 to 300 horsepower engines means it's easy to install. That means dealers will love it. And because the expensive control hardware is already built into the Evernude E-Tech system, the high quality iDock joystick has an MSRP of only $59.99. That means it's far less expensive than competitive brands that cost from $15,000 to $20,000. That's a nine to $14,000 savings and means a twin-engine Evernude E-Tech G2 rig will cost significantly less than competing rigs with far more expensive joystick systems. 
And that's our look at the all-new Evernude iDock joystick system. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.